a couple of videos ago we did a, a gun disarm and I just want to talk about uh, safety. I, I try to be real safe about it because I don't want you guys to try and practice. You know, I mean, who knows who's watching the videos, right? It could be a small kid or whatever. So I want to make sure that you guys are responsible with what you're doing. I don't want there to be, you know, someone that accidentally, you know, kills themselves or something like that. It, we don't want that to happen. So please don't play with real guns. Uh, if, if it is a real firearm, um, that does happen, but it's um, you know usually in the presence of some kind of a range master or other tactics instructor, military, something like that, law enforcement, and the weapon would, should be inspected at least by two individuals. Um, you may want to include no magazine. Sometimes people will put an empty mag in there. I'm not telling you how to do it, but you just want to make sure that the weapon is not loaded uh, and that during the training process that it won't be able that you don't that you're not gonna you know if you're gonna do like a, a reload drill for example when you when you drop that mag out you come up and you you put another one in there obviously you want to make sure that you're not gonna actually feed live ammunition into the weapon so it's just just using basic you know safety knowledge um, another thing is is sometimes these weapons on the actual trigger guard here if your finger is in there uh, sometimes your finger might get uh, jammed it could get broken something like that so sometimes what people will do is they'll actually saw or cut this so that there actually is no trigger guard and so it's it's easy to have the weapon taken away or something like that just a little bit tips of advice I don't do it the types of disarms that I don't that I do I, I've never had any trouble like that but um, you can use obviously this simulates a, a Glock you can use something like this which would simulate more of a, a Beretta style so uh, there's all kinds of, of plastic guns obviously it's plastic uh, you can use rubber gun whatever same thing with the knives obviously we're not going to train with real knives or you know this is just for, for practice and we're not going to try and actually hurt each other doing it uh, another last concept um, or safety tip is that even though this is a fake gun and I know and you know that it's a fake gun you still would want to treat it as if it was a real firearm now when we do the disarms, obviously the gun's going to be pointed towards me. We'll do a disarm, step back, you know, and you'll point the weapon at, at uh, the suspect or whatever it is. So in, in certain situations like that, you know, you're, you're, you're drilling for that kind of a thing. Other than that, though, if you are training with the gun and you have it, you know, in a holster, you know, you want to simulate as if it was a real firearm. So don't point it at people like this you know there's nobody standing there it's just the camera but I wouldn't obviously want to point that at you uh, so just be be real simple you know with that um, don't don't move the weapon around this way if you've got other people basic concept it's called flagging lazing and whatever the you know terms you want to use so for example if you were the uh, person standing there as if you're watching this video I'm going to either have my weapon holstered or I, I, what I'm comfortable with is I'll keep it flat on my chest like this, pointed away from my feet, pointed towards the ground where no one is there. If I'm, if I'm going to point this way, when I come around to you, I'm going to go here so that I'm not sweeping across, lazing, flagging, whatever you want to call it. So when you do your weapon drills, you know, obviously we get more into this when we, when we actually do the, the handgun tactics and stuff like that. So, but this is just a, a general safety video. So, please weapon be safe. is an airsoft pistol. It uh, simulates the Glock look and feel, which is very common. And in the gun disarm video I talked about, you could squeeze the trigger, and um, you know, kind of test yourself to see if if you could be faster than the person pulling the trigger. Well, obviously, it, it simulates just like a real Glock. I can I can push the slide back. You know, load it forward. It has a magazine. I can pull it out. Um, I don't want to actually shoot any kind of projectile. So if you have a if you have a magazine, obviously it could be empty. This time I'm not going to put it in there because I don't want to actually shoot um, the real stuff. So there was one in there. I just shot it out just so that you wouldn't shoot your partner. So basically, you're going to simulate it. It's pulled back. And all you would do is, once again, if you're going over a disarm drill, obviously then you can point, but you want to make sure that, it, that it's not loaded. I don't even have a mag in there. So 
other than that, obviously you wouldn't point it at your at, at, at a person for safety purposes. Obviously it's been inspected and if we're gonna do a gun disarm, then I will point the weapon at you. So if I point the weapon at you, the, what I, how you should drill this is I'm gonna put my finger on the trigger and as soon as you move, you're gonna move my hand this way, you're gonna deflect it this way, you could go move it up, you can move it down, but as soon as you move, I'm gonna pull that trigger. And that just gives you a little bit of a, a little bit more flavor to it, so to speak. So uh, you can see, you know, you just practice your timing and, and that sort of thing. If you hesitate, pull the trigger. If um, you just don't wanna indicate what you're doing, you wanna practice and get it as smooth and as, as uh, fluid as you can. So it's another great training tool.